So we all had our hopes up and was expecting a miracle from above. But Vibes Cartel could not have won his appeal because. Yeah, viewers and subscribers, the system would never allow that to happen because of several reasons, few of which we will discuss in this presentation. So as usual, before jumping on the Gaza Reflect topic here people, just smash the subscribe button and turn the post notification on because you will be in for a treat and I would not want you to miss any of my uploads. So all the true Gaza fans them, where they really want Justice of Vibes Cartel, make sure so you subscribe to the channel people and go over Instagram, go follow me at Jamaican Drama one now. Brace yourself for a trip to Gaza land. Men I like politics. Gaza. Jamaica. The system. Like them are evil. Believe me, people. Life. Could have easier. I just choose society. Who responds for the ghetto youth? Them. Babylon, I execute them. The system corrupt me sons and take me daughters and prostitute them. No, for me, friend. Them send go away then. So on Friday, April 3rd, 2020, the much awaiting verdict in the Vibes Cartel murder case was handed down sometime after 9 a.m., where the appeal court ruled that Vibes Cartel murder conviction should be upheld. Millions of cartel fans worldwide were left disappointed following the ruling, as also dozens from the entertainment industry. But whilst I was hoping for the best, just like many of you out here watching this video right now, I was not surprised by the ruling because it is clear as mud that Vibes Cartel is a target of the system. The system but what system? I am talking the government system, the political system, both local and overseas, and all of this is stemming from the massive influence that Vibes Cartel has on people all over the globe and even in space if you might ask me. Members say my ear and you know. Now the system the Vibes Cartel as a threat. A huge threat based on how he has the ability to connect with people through his music. Songs such as Emergency We Are Suffer Around Here, in which Vibes Cartel lashed out at the poor state of the Jamaican government, helped to fuel the decision to take him down. Members say the objective of the government is to always trick poor people with empty promises so as to keep them in power. So when a youth like Vibes Cartel will rise from the inner city start open poor people's eyes through his music, the system had to find a way to get rid of him before it got too late. The system each time that government officials hit out at Vibes Cartel, or I should say criticize him and his music, Cartel will hit back at them with supernatural force, telling them plain and straight that they are the ones wrecking the country with their unconscientious greed for power. Yeah, who remember the statement that Lisa Hanna made when Vibes Cartel took all the trophies in the Youth Views Award? And who remember the Vibes Cartel roasted her? And we all know so when Vibes Cartel talk, the whole world listens. No, the system never liked that. So when Vibes Cartel was implicated in the murder of Clive Lizard Williams, the system had to do whatever it took to ensure that he was removed from the streets for a very long time. The system a me. Them a me is a dan, no call me so. True me help get you to win off, you know. Another major reason why Vibes Cartel might have lost his appeal is because he has been highly criticized by top European officials when he did this song. Several news channels overseas to include ABC News featured the song on their program where Cartel was criticized for promoting and condoning scamming. During the time the song was released, scamming was on a high and Vibes Cartel was blamed for influencing the persons who were behind the criminal act. Now, this placed Jamaica on the US radar and the American government sanctioned the Jamaican government to take swift action. So you know, see a long time the system are pretty DJ. The system are pretty. Them a say me is a dan no call me so True me help get a youth when half you know 
finally, the system would not allow Cartel to win his appeal because if he had won, he could sue the government for false arrest and guess what people? The government would now be required to pay Vibes Cartel over a billion dollars for lasting revenues for the period that he had been incarcerated. So all of these little pieces added up to make the puzzle what it actually is. So whether or not Vibes Cartel committed the crime, the system was not going to free him. At least no. The only good thing about these people is that they only manage to restrict Carter's freedom of movement. They have tried, but they cannot kill or restrict his voice, which is Carter's most dangerous weapon. What doesn't kill you, use it to strengthen you. And Carter is more loved now than ever before, because people are now realizing that he is just a victim of the system. Maybe if him the born up town like the X6 driver, <laughs> there would be a different outcome. Viewers and subscribers, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and please like and share this video to someone. One love for all.